This is the epaulette shark. The crew wants to film David up close to this slippery character. Marine biologist Professor Gillian Renshaw has been studying these sharks for 20 years. It's very hard to see the epaulettes because they're cryptically coloured and blend in very well with fingers of coral that are rising out of the reef platform. It's a tricky location because it's only accessible for a short window of time. We've got probably about 40 minutes to get all of the shots that we need. Two pieces to camera and lots of nice shots of the epaulette shark. So um, I shouldn't really be talking to you. We should be getting this. OK, quiet, please. Camera's rolling. And action, David. The epaulette shark remains on the reef even when the tide goes out. Of course, with so little water, it doesn't get as much oxygen as it requires normally. Although David's shots finish quickly, the team still needs to film the shark's startling walking behavior. The water is literally pouring in around the equipment and over our feet. We've got about 10 to 15 minutes to get this sequence finished and get back in the boat before we're literally cut off and we can't get back to the boat. Time is of the essence, chaps. The tide floods in around the crew. That was a really nice performance from the epaulette shark. That's another great sequence in the can for the series.